Grace Pelthorpe and Ruben Mednikov met in 1935. Grace Pelthorpe had previously been a surgeon in the First World War. She'd worked as a doctor to a gold mining community in Western Australia, and she'd worked with female prisoners as well and studied psychoanalysis. Ruben Mednikov was a trained artist when they began their investigation, having had a conversation at a party, Grace Pelthorpe at the time had been working with a patient and needed somebody to help her with, I quote, uh, prizing open the mind um, of that person. She met Medikoff and thought that he would have the sensitivity required for the task. Um, but once they got talking, she immediately realised that actually he might help her to explore her own inner world and she might be able to help him explore his. They combined their skills and began a fascinating investigation into art and life um, and developed a method that they came to call psychorealism. Palethorpe had studied psychoanalysis, so what she would do is ask Mednikov to paint and draw. And he would paint in all sorts of different styles. So sometimes you might see landscapes, sometimes you might see abstract paintings, sometimes um, you would see portraits. And then Pelthorp would use her psychoanalytic ideas in order to interpret those paintings. What Pelthorp will do is analyse his use of colour, his use of different forms, his technique, and his choice of medium as well, in order to show how that painting told stories about his early life. At first, Pelthorpe would analyse Mednikov's paintings and drawings, but then he would also analyse hers. In one of the rooms of the exhibition, we explore Palethorpe's paintings and drawings, which were part of what she called the birth trauma series, which, in which she tried to think back into her own experience um, of being a baby and about how it felt to be evicted from her mother's womb. We're exhibiting them here as artists, but they preferred to see themselves as researchers or even scientists. Through trying to understand themselves, they believed they might be able to develop a method which ultimately would help society as a whole. Because what they were really trying to do in the end was understand where rage and hatred came from, which was something many thinkers were thinking about in the 30s, because you have rise of fascism, Second World War, so they're sort of thinking through um, how they might stop conflict. In 1940, they left the UK because they were trying to protect their research materials from the bombs of the Blitz. So they moved to New York, then California, then Vancouver. They returned to the UK um, after the Second World War. In 1948, he changed his name from Ruben Mednikov to Richard Palethorpe. Palethorpe said, I have adopted him as my heir. In the final decades of their life, Pelthorp and Mennikov are still using psychoanalytic ideas. They're still thinking about how childhood impacted upon their adult lives. But they're also very, very interested in spiritual philosophies, in something called Agni Yoga, and in theosophy as well. And they're also very interested in the occult. And what they do is they combine their spiritual interests with their psychoanalytic ideas. What the show is trying to do is introduce audiences to these artists. Grace Pelthorpe and Ruben Mednikov are still not very well known. It will introduce them to um, their many unpublished ideas um, about politics, about gender, about spirituality, as well as about psychoanalysis. And hopefully they'll come away with a sense of how their method intersected with some of the major events of their day. Even though some of the Paintings and drawings might look very austere, very abstract, very clean and tidy. The interpretations can sometimes bring them down to earth um, by talking about how, in fact, the painting or the drawing was about toilet training, for example, or weaning. And what this exhibition does is it brings the written material back together with the paintings and the drawings. And that's involved quite an archival dig. And so you can see them together as part of the same vast project. It will be fascinating to sort of see how um, audiences respond to the works themselves. Some might be drawn more to the abstract work, some might be drawn more to the landscape, some to the portraits. It's a cacophony of different styles, different media in this exhibition. Um, they might not agree with Pelthorpe or Medlikov's interpretations of their own works, um, and they're invited to come away with their own kind of impressions.